This is my 2003 9.3 convertible I just brought home. Mechanically, it's in great shape, but as with any old car, there are a few odds and ends that need some work. These sun visors decided they had enough and stopped holding on. The problem here is with the clip. The passenger side is broken and the driver's side is missing completely. These are no longer being made and are hard to find in good condition because the sun really beats on them and they become brittle and break over time. But with the help of some godly timing, someone on the Saab Central forums gave out a CAD file for these clips. Another reason why we need to keep the forums alive. Major kudos to Fix Mint for creating this model for all of us to use. I'm not going to get too into the details of 3D printing, but as a very quick breakdown of what is needed, first you need to convert the 3D model into a format that the 3D printer can read. This is called slicing. It basically slices the model into layers so that the printer can understand how to print it. Then it's a matter of pressing print. And that's with the major asterisk. 3D printing is not at all this simple, but for the purposes of this video, let's just say it didn't take me 48 tries to get the settings perfectly. I used a material called PETG, which is much more temperature resistant and is considered one of the better materials for printing car parts. That looks kind of bad, but I think if I remove all the supports, it'll look a lot better. And this is all the support material. And if you look at that, it looks much better. This is the original. And this is the replica. I think it's a pretty good replica, all, all things considered. It's got all the basic points nailed down. So I'm gonna put this on now and see how it works. Okay. And it broke the first time I tried because the point of failure looks to be right there the very weakest link so the way around it is to uh, add more material there but that's not gonna look pretty or I can change the orientation on which this prints right now I printed it like this right side up and if you look at the slicing um, you see how the layers are going horizontally like this so naturally it's going to have a weakness going this way so I think if I go back and kind of orient it like on its side like this then if I slice it like this it's gonna have more strength because the weakest point here is going for um, so I guess it would be vertically so this point here is going to be a lot stronger I think I'm gonna try to print it like this and see if it's any better oh yeah look at that so printing it on its side the prints are much better. So man, I think, I mean, this is already like, it feels so much stronger than the other, the other one. So let's go try this out. Moment of truth. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, way stronger, so much better. Awesome. The thing about 3D printing is that it's super useful, but the finish is not great as you can clearly tell here. So what I like to do is sand it smooth, put a couple coats of primer to fill in the little gaps, sand down the primer, and then apply a base coat and clear coat. I have this dark gray color laying around from a previous project, so I'm gonna go with this, but I heard that the SEM17213, very dark gray, is a decent match for OEM. I'm not too picky about having the OEM color, so this will do for me. So with both clips in, that's one last thing broken on my Project 9.3. I have a few more parts that I'm printing which I'll have a future episode on, so stay tuned if you don't want to miss that. If you have any questions or suggestions about 3D printing, let me know in the comments down below because I'm by no means a pro at this. That's it for this video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.